Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. As always, it's your girl Hannah back again with another Ghost Reactions video. First of all, first things first, what do you guys think? We have a low-key Christmassy background. You can't really notice or like tell that there's this little tree here, especially because I feel like this one's definitely outshining it. But um, I'm doing like a little bit of a Christmassy background. Happy holidays. I figured once December hit, that's when I would start like, you know, kind of the more holiday-y type of content. But yeah, so I might have to figure out something to add onto this side that lights up or something. Per usual, we're going to be reacting to some videos of ghosts supposedly caught on camera. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm going to switch it up a little bit and watch a video from a channel called Sir Spooks. It looks like he does very similar to Nuke's Top 5 content with scary compilations of like scary creatures slash ghosts slash you know weird happenings so I thought I would give it a try and watch one of his videos and so I'm going to be watching top five scary videos that will scare the daylights out of you so fingers crossed it does but also not too much because it's 11 30 at night and I do need to go to bed after I film this so I would like to sleep but at the same time of course we're hoping for a good scare so let's get into it Okay, that intro. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos. The final video on today's list is one of the most incredible pieces of paranormal footage I've ever seen. So stick Ooh. around until the end. Okay. Number five. A YouTuber named Jethro Specht uploaded this mysterious video to his channel in October of 2011, who found this eerie piece of footage filmed by a man who was located in South England. The story goes that an amateur historian was exploring a local ruin called Smokey when he came across a new expensive camera that was simply left in the middle of the ruined building. When he took the camera home and examined the footage, what he saw absolutely petrified him. So what in the world could this man have possibly captured on camera that scared him so much? Yeah. Well, without further ado, let's have a look. Oh gosh. Oh no, because obviously it must have been scary enough that the man just left this camera. I'll be honest. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Oh. That was like a dark, ominous looking shadow in the doorway. Ooh. By taking a good look at the man's footage, you yeah. can see what appears to be some sort of mysterious dark figure looming throughout this eerie building. Ooh. The figure, which appeared to be wearing robes and a hood, mm. took up the space of entire doorways and <gasps> seemed to be barring the cameraman's way. So what could have possibly happened here? What happened to this cameraman? It definitely makes you wonder, seeing as how this was found Oof. on his video camera which was left abandoned. Almost like a found footage movie. Maybe he's still out there somewhere, but we will probably never know for sure. That's so creepy. I mean, oh, pause. Um, I mean, yeah, kind of like, I don't know. I, the only thing about this is I guess I would have liked to see what um, the like last like okay I guess I wonder is the last bit of footage on that camera something that like show like the guy being scared and like dropping the camera or is it just like a clip that ends the moment that they dropped the camera. That's what I meant. Like, I wonder if we, there is a clip that shows them when they, when the per, this person actually did drop the camera, or if it's just, you know, seemingly normal footage, but obviously not normal because there's a freaking shadow person in one of them. But still very creepy. I hope whoever it was um, is okay, and that they were just trying to protect themselves and abandon ship as fast as they could. But still very unsettling that this big ominous like cloaked creep like figure is just hovering about in front of the camera guy very concerning number four 
Mark B Television has a YouTube channel with various different topics. Some videos are considered funny, whereas some are just bizarre, such as a video of somebody getting arrested in a big city. However, one of his videos has stood out like a sore thumb, mainly because of just how unsettling it is. The video, which was published to Mark's channel in November of 2021, sees him venturing out to Bucket Hole Clow Park in Blackley, Manchester. Throughout the video, we watch Mark as he makes his way around the area, looking for anything of intrigue. For a while though, it doesn't seem as if Mark is going to capture anything special. Uh -oh. That is, until this happens. Uh -oh. Now this is a, a wooden bridge. I don't like how dark it is. And as I said, it leads to the 99 steps and to the higher bridge. And the thing about Park at Holocaust <gasps> Park is... Hello? Hello? Oh my... Who's that? God! Who's that? Oh! Oh my god! Mark is walking around, talking to his subscribers, when he suddenly looks up and notices a terrifying man standing in dark clothing oh. who slowly begins to walk toward him. Oh, that's so creepy! This obviously deeply unsettles Mark, who proceeds to ask who the man is and what he wants, but he gets no response. Gratefully, Mark is smart enough to run away from the area as fast as he can, making sure he doesn't stick around long enough for this man to do anything else. Okay. But it definitely does make you wonder what would have happened Ew. had he not been so quick on his feet. And equally important, who in the world is this strange man and what was he doing in the area? It's Okay, my thing with that one, even if it, and it was very well possibly was faked especially if this dude just kind of makes all kinds of random videos like this could be pretty easily faked because it was obviously a man in like an all black face covering zip up situation like very easily faked but it was still terrifying and creepy still creepy though still creepy terrifying i don't want anything to do with it no thank you like Oof, and I'm glad that the guy got away because if it wasn't fake, then yeah, he got out of there quick enough. I don't know what it was about that one that freaked me out so much, but yeah. Oof. It's a mystery that will forever remain unsolved. I don't like it. I think I especially don't like that he has some weird face mask thing going on, you know? Makes it even more... Creepy. A Mexican YouTuber named Mysterio JL is well known by his subscribers for his frequent uploads which typically focus on him exploring allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings okay. and documenting his findings for his viewers. In one video published to his channel in November of 2021, Mysterio is exploring an undisclosed building that looks as if it has seen better days. I feel like nukes the building covered is worn down with graffiti before. strewn all over the walls and the interior so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. At about the 10 minute mark in the video, Mysterio and his friends suddenly get a strange feeling while investigating and proceed to explore with a bit more caution than before. Little did they know that someone or something was actually watching them. Take oh a look. No. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, no, no. Acá, acá Colombia no pasó oh, algo ahí. No. There's a lot of corners. There's a lot of corners. I don't see anyone yet. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Dude, that looks like a... Straight up like a person. Just two minutes later. The two men explore an entirely different area in the building when they hear this. At this point, pause, no fucking way. No fucking way. Dude, okay, it's been a while, but some goosebumps are starting <laughs> are starting to pop up. Dude, that was such obviously a kid's voice yelling for their mom. Either means one of three things. Um 
someone's fucked up ass really brought a fucking kid over here and made them yell mama like hella loud to freak these guys out or to fake this video which like i said that's fucked up because why would you bring a kid here um or you know someone used like a recording of a kid yelling mama and played it out loud hella to like freak the guys out whether they planned it or someone's fucking with them one of the two or three that was a ghost one of the three one of the three now obviously i feel like one of the first two is much more plausible let's be honest of course but if I heard that in an abandoned building, bitch, you, mm. no, thank you, <laughs> no, thank you, no, thank you. Ugh, that caught me off guard. I was not expecting that too, but let's keep going. They are getting significantly freaked out. But the guy's reaction, though. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot to mention the guy's reaction. Just like, oh my god, like that's giving me a little bit of some fake, you know, staged energy. We're here for my commentary and my opinion. All right, so I'm giving it to you. To me, it looks. Oh, that was a bit of a fake reaction. But then again, I guess, how can you really judge somebody how they're reacting to something like that? Like hearing a kid's voice in an abandoned building. So, moving on. All I'm gonna say. Press forward with the investigation, which proves to be a mistake. While trying to get the attention of any potential spirits in the area, something genuinely terrifying can be seen lingering in the background of this shot. Oh no. Oh god. <gasps> Bitch. Something just ran across. That was a bit of a delayed reaction on Cameraman's part, but still scary. A mysterious dark figure rushes by in the background, causing the videographer to gasp in complete shock. Just a few moments later, Mysterio and his partner make the decision to flee the area as quickly as possible. Yeah. Not wanting to stick around to see what the strange figure was. Yeah. Was this the ghost of a deceased child? The one that said mama earlier? Or was this something entirely different? We may never know the answer. No, I mean, like I said, all of the like, everything even the person like running across nothing about it looked so not like a person like it straight up looked like a person and especially because it was so far away and in the shadows you know it's not like the it was going to be crystal clear precise even if it was a person it's going to look a little bit like distorted and pixelated because it was so far away and in the dark so and then like the one kid that or person that you can see like the very first one you can see that they have a face you can see like skin you know what i mean and a shirt and hair and like i said with the kid yelling out mama like you could either have been fucked up and brought a kid there or used a voice recording of a kid or something to fake it you know what i mean so is it creepy absolutely did it get me absolutely but is it undeniably like ghost no not necessarily so but good on them it was a, but you know yeah all right moving on dude my hair won't stay back and it keeps hitting my eyelash number two YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal uploaded a video to his channel in August of 2021 that sees him heading out to an abandoned school bunker located somewhere in Germany that is allegedly very haunted. Immediately when he arrives on the scene, he can tell that the school bunker has long been abandoned. Yeah. Bits of rubble and debris are scattered around the area, 
oh and it looks God. as though the place hasn't been touched oh in ages, God. making his surroundings oh that God, much the more unsettling. Floor At is one point in the video, gone. a stationary camera that was set up in one of the school's corridors seems to capture something quite unnerving. Take a look. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that door straight up just opened. Oh my god, and another one! Almost About two minutes later, mm -hmm. while exploring one room, the YouTuber notices something very bizarre happened with one of the pieces of furniture in the room, before something else happens regarding a box in a separate room. I'm in this room. I don't know if I'm in this room. I don't know where to look. I also don't know what he's saying. Um, hold the f what? 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 Um. Now hold up. When he said he sees something strange with a piece of furniture. I was not thinking that this man was going to mean all of the furniture in the room was going to just bum rush to the center. Um, I mean, I think we can all be a little bit like, yo, huh? Like, this is a very classic trope when it comes to like paranormal movies and stuff, showing a bunch of objects like being rushed together to show the force and power of the entity behind it but I mean I will say I don't know how he would have faked that because let's see if it plays it again I'm just so speechless he's also very calm right now just slowly walking away which is unsettling to me Okay, now we're looking at another clip. I think... Oh! Is that one gonna move again? He heard So far, it this place has shown some genuinely intense paranormal activity. But nonetheless, Dark Ghost Paranormal works up the courage to continue on with this investigation. This, of course, proves to be a mistake. Oh, no. Take a look at the terrifying encounters that happen next. Oh, no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is he gonna see something? Um. I don't know what to make of any of this. The light just went out. I heard a female voice. But I don't know if it was like a device. Banging and the lights are out again. It's scary, don't get me wrong, but I don't know what to make of that. Wait, so I think that might have been him breathing. Maybe I'm. But look. I just don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Sir. Sir, you better have a backup flashlight if this is gonna keep happening, you know? Like. Okay, pause. So I think what we're supposed to be gathering is happening. Because it's hard because there aren't any subtitles, so I can't. I don't understand what he's saying. Um, I'm assuming. Obviously, he's freaking out, <laughs> but that the light keeps being shut off, probably assuming, assumingly by some kind of entity or ghost or something. And every time the light goes off, it's some movement is going on. And it seems like he's assuming that the, it's the door, like something trying to open the door or get through the door, or I couldn't tell if when he went up to the door, if he thought that something locked him in. 
I don't know, but very scary, but also very like classic horror movie, which, you know, I can see being easily faked, but then also I haven't seen anything that looks super obvious like strings or anything like that and unless I'm assuming you know many lights are controlled by remotes so like he could be turning it off and on on his own without us seeing it so I but it also says I don't know what he's saying I don't know if he's like I'm assuming the shuffling is also half and like the tapping is him trying to turn it back on so let's keep going and see what happens very scary though. I know if I was in this situation, I'd be freaking. Cause there's a lot of movement. A lot oh. This is straight out of no no. Oh here, pause. Pause. I just got like a full body chill because this he pulls out a lighter, which I get it. You're trying to put get any form of light. So yeah, I'm assuming. Like I said, what we're supposed to assume is that the light keeps going out on its own, not by him, is what we're supposed to assume. But using, like, a lighter is literally- isn't there literally a scene out of one of the Paranormal Activity movies that's almost exactly like that? Because a face is just gonna rush up at the person and it's gonna be this crazy demonic looking little disgusting face and it's gonna freak you out, you know what I mean? That is literally asking for that to happen right now. I'm not ready to be jump scared, okay? I didn't sign up to be jump scared like this. But we're gonna keep watching for the content. Oh god, I'm very scared. And I really hope that noise is the wind. And not some growls. Because if those are growls, you should be much more terrified than this man is showing right now. Oh, and the light keeps going out from the light. This is why you don't do this stuff, guys. Understandably, not wanting to stay any longer, he can no longer take being in the building and calls it a day. But the question still looms. What in the world did he experience during his investigation? Furniture was seen to move okay. around. Strange That's... noises were heard, and doors seemed to lock by themselves, all while he was on the other side. Was there some sort of ghostly apparition trying to trap him there? I'll let you decide. Okay, see, so based off of that, trying to trap him there, is he alluding to that the door was, like, stuck? I See, I don't know, and I wish there was captions, but that was scary. But I'm a little disappointed that nothing happened. Like, I didn't want to see a face with the lighter, but I'm a little disappointed that something didn't happen. That he was just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. I don't know. I have a lot of issues with number two. The guy didn't react when the furniture moved in front of him. Like, he kind of just went, oh, and like turned around, you know? Um, the growls slash possible wind noises didn't freak him out when the light kept going off the fact that the lights kept going off didn't seem to i mean of course it sounded like he was trying to get it back on but he didn't sound freaked out like he was not giving me scared energy which makes me think was any of it real i don't know now like i said did i see necessarily any strings attached to all that furniture not necessarily. I also don't know how you would easily be able to move all that furniture to the very center at the exact same time without making it very obvious that you're moving it because you're holding a camera. So it seems like very difficult to fake, but on the other hand, he had absolutely no reaction to it. So I'm kind of like, did you know it was gonna happen? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> but um, interesting scary for sure freaked me out i really thought a face was gonna come out when he had the lighter on but thankfully it didn't 
<laughs> All right, on to number one, which Mr. Spooks says was some very revolutionary piece of evidence to him. So let's hope it's interesting. This last video you're about to watch is from a channel that has been featured on my channel before with the first sighting of a pixie video. And there's no denying that this is one of the most incredible pieces of paranormal evidence I've ever seen. Excuse me? The video was uploaded by Erwin Saunders on August 14th, 2021 and sees the man exploring a worm cave that he had previously explored. After talking about what they will be doing inside the cave and talking about its history, Erwin and his friend proceed to enter the massive pitch black cave. For a while, nothing out of the ordinary seems to happen. Both Erwin and his friend explore the area with their flashlights equipped so they can see better, but come up relatively empty in terms of discoveries. At one point, a bat flies around in the cave, which startles Erwin's friend for a moment before he trudges onward. Look. There's a bat in here. Oh. 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 A little bat. It's flying around. Oh. Poor little guy. So there are bats. But the real terrifying thing happens just about a minute later, as Erwin's friend makes his way deeper into the cave. Oh, no. Something legitimately heart-stopping appears out of nowhere, causing the man to be completely frozen in fear, not knowing what to do or say. Oh no. Look at this footage and prepare to be amazed. Oh god. Have you got your camera going? Um, yeah, it's going now. Okay. Okay, uh, Owen. Owen. Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, no, 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 no. I am. I am. I can't go. I'm burning my hand. Mm. What? A gigantic cave worm appears to squirm its way out of a crevice in the cave before it then slithers its way ever closer to the two men. Amazingly though, both men show extreme calm and do not panic, making their way out of the cave in a quiet manner. What? Whereas I think most of us would be trying our best not to let out a blood curdling scream. This video just goes to show you that the most terrifying I am truly mind boggled right now. I have no words other than what? First of all, how has this man's like videos not made some kind of headlines if he's supposedly like finding these crazy creatures? That, t tell me that did not look like a fucking dragon. Tell me right now. Tell me right now to my face that that did not look like a dragon. Like, what the actual fuck was that? Okay, hold on. Let's keep- Things can sometimes show up when you least expect it. I bet you'll Dude. never look at a cave the same way ever again. Dude. I... And that was five scary videos. I... Okay. What? Hold on. Now... Okay. Of course... My only... Like explanation is literally that it's just like fake CGI like type shit you know because even if the man made this made a little robot little thing and threw it in the cave ahead of time how did it move so fluid and like it looked real you know like it looked realistic to me I don't know maybe I'm naive what? Hold on. I'm not gonna lie. This video, that video, makes me want to watch that man's channel and try to figure out what the fuck all that is about. Because 
I like how he called it a cave worm. That did not look like a, it had four legs, a little like whisker, you know, the, the two little whiskers, a little whisker mustache, and it looks like a fucking dragon. Like, I don't know, maybe because he introduced this guy with finding, you know, a seemingly evidence of a, of a pixie that it made me think mythical creatures. So then I saw this thing and I thought it was a dragon, but tell me that didn't look like a dragon. I have no other words. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, that was the video. <laughs> Let's do an outro. <laughs> I was truly, utterly not expecting this video to end with me being so confused but intrigued all at the same time if you guys are interested in seeing me like react to slash investigate I guess this man's videos because I have so many questions and I'm just hoping that maybe if I look at this man's content a little bit more and see if it seems like his stuff is legit or not, that it will give me, that my brain will be able to understand what I, what it is I just saw because did we just see a dragon? <laughs> like, I came here for ghosts and I'm leaving here contemplating dragons and mythical creatures. So let me know what you guys think thought of today's video and how you feel about me checking out um this guy's what's his channel name again Erwin Saunders let me know if you're interested in me checking out Erwin Saunders videos it seems like he has a lot of stuff going through like folklore and those types of creatures so let me know if you're at all interested I'm interested even just for my own personal interest like if y'all ain't interested I'm gonna look into it because I'm just anyway <laughs> like I said let me know what you guys thought of today's video uh, did any of these clips astound you just as much as it astounded me per usual if you guys have anything in particular you would like me to react to please leave a recommendation in the comments down below and if you liked this video make sure you like the video by hitting that thumbs up button down below and subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future content otherwise i hope you guys have a great rest of your day a great rest of your week Watch out for dragons and other little mythical cre creatures because they quite maybe possibly exist in some semblance. Um, <laughs> have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys. What the fuck did I just watch, man? Oh my god.